Worms. Composting worms. Woo! I love my new worms. No worms were harmed in the making of this video. Probably. Okay, so we're trying something a little bit different this year. We are going to set up worm farms. Now, what is a worm farm? How can it benefit your garden? Well, as you're about to see in a minute, we're going to go outside. We've got some worm farms. We've got three worm farms set up, brand new worm farms in the garden bed. So what's the benefit of this? Okay, so inside this box, we have approximately 1,000 live tiger worms. Sorry guys, I hope you're okay in there. So the way it works is you basically you put it like a container in the garden, you put a lid on the container, the container has holes in it, and the worms can go in and out through the holes, and you put your scrap food into the container. Now I have a combination out there, I have two um, square uh, worm farms that are um, just built out of old plywood, you know, because um, if you, you you don't want to spend a lot of money on this, honestly, it's not the type of thing you want to spend money on. A lot of people use paint cans. I'm going to show you a couple of other alternatives. You put your food in there, the worms, they go in there, they eat the food, and then they go back out into the garden bed, and they fertilize the garden bed, and they put into the garden bed what are called worm castings. Worm castings is worm shit, and worm shit is actually a great fertilizer for your plants, for whatever it is you're growing. So, worms. One way that you can make a worm farm is to use one of these. You could use one of these, or you could use an old paint bucket. You can also go to your hardware store, you know, you go to your, your Lowe's, your Home Depot, whatever it is, and just buy a PVC tube, you know, like a, a, a downpipe, a stormwater downpipe type thing, and, uh, you know, with a, a cap on the top of it. You could do that. It's going to cost you a bit of money. It's not really the type of thing you want to spend money on. On the other hand, if you're like me, and you go to the gym every once in a while, you know, you... Um, you know, get uh, these um, tubs here. These make great worm farms, because all you gotta do is cut out the bottom and drill a whole lot of holes around the side. You're gonna see one out there that's like that right, right now. And it's important that whatever you use for a worm farm has a lid. Otherwise, you're gonna have birds and insects and all kinds of things that you don't want flying in there and you know if it's if it's like flies they're going to be laying fly eggs and you're going to get maggots and that kind of shit and more flies you don't want that you also don't want the birds going in there and stealing the food you also don't want the birds going in there and then eating your worms because your worms are going to go into your worm farm enough talk let's head outside Okay, this is one of my worm farms. This is a brand new one. It's basically a plywood box. It's got the holes drilled in the side. I've already buried this down. This is already approximately one and a half feet deep. You know, roughly 50, 60 centimeters thereabouts. It's got a whole lot of you know, holes drilled in the side. Now, being plywood, it's not going to last forever. That's the downside to using wood. It's not really ideal. You'd really want to use plastic. But, you know, as I said before, you don't want to spend money, especially if you can. If you can get away with it, don't spend any money. Let me show you what's in here and I'll show you what I'm about to put in here. So in there we've got some old beans and stuff. And we're going to put in there some, um, some other stuff, some green stuff, some eggshells. So the food you're going to put into your worm farm, you know, you want to put in, um, you know, green stuff. You know, like lettuce, cabbage, um, any old green stuff you've got coffee grounds they like that you can even put in some shredded newspaper eggshells worms love eggshells okay moment of truth come on out little worms now you can't really be too shy with getting your fingers and hands dirty on this because um, as these worms like to eat all the stuff that's in there as they eat what's in there they're going to um, leave all of that worm shit not just around the garden bed they're going to leave all that worm shit not just around the garden bed but also in the worm farm here now one now a couple other things about worms too there's actually two main types of worms there's composting worms and earthworms so earthworms are the things that you see when it's been bucketing rain 
and um, you know they all come out of the ground and they just want to get on the footpath so that they want to get out of the you know the, the flooded earth those are earthworms earthworms don't really like to eat human scraps that much but the composting worms do so these composting worms I got them from the um, local hardware store you may have to shop around see who's got them I can see them all popping out now they're in there so a bag like this will have a combination of um, worms and worm eggs um, there will be all, all kinds of stuff in there baby worms big worms here's another little worm tower same type of food scraps in here green stuff some of these worms in here here we go and because I've already kind of filled up this um, get our tiger worms in there as I've already sort of filled this up a bit I'm gonna put some just in the soil as well just adjacent so that we have them not just not just inside there but also in the soil too on to the next one so right here next to my lonely little tomato plant is my um, old protein container same thing applies it's got some green material in there and you go wormies Now again, your lids are important so that you don't get birds come along and eat all of your worms, you know. You pay money for these worms. Now the last thing I'm going to do is put some worms into my actual compost bin. I do have a compost bin here. With all kinds of stuff in there. Worms are going to have an absolute feast. some key points just to summarize your purpose behind your worms is to eat your human waste and create worm castings that is worm shit so they need a place to live and a place for you to put the food that's the purpose behind the worm tower you can build the worm tower out of anything as long as it's got a lid and it's got holes on the side and the worms are going to be your best friend they're going to eat your scraps they're going to shit out that food they're going to fertilize your garden it's, it's all natural compost manure, basically. Thanks for watching this gardening video. Try out worm farming if you haven't before. It's cheap, it's easy, and a good way to get rid of your food waste.